Do we ever vlog at this house? We did Incredibles at this house. Didn't vlog. Welcome to the house. The streamer house. The Sacramento streamer house. Owned by Mario. The streamer house. You've seen her. Uh, she does some body work on me sometimes. She's been a homie for a couple years now. Uh, just came over and kicked it. We did a little deadlift workout. Uh, pulled, what did I do? 545 for the three. Uh, 500 for some sets of five. Uh, feeling okay, it's the second deadlift uh, day of the week, so I kind of go more on auto regulation. I go by how I feel. Uh, but today we want to talk a little bit about nutrition. Uh, shout out to the homies at Bite Meals. They sent me a bunch of delicious meals. They revamped their system, they revamped their website, so the meals, slightly bigger portions. It's a subscription base, so um, you get it every week repetitive. It's also a little bit cheaper, I think. Don't quote me. But I think they made shipping free. So I think it's just $8 a meal. Um, there's a couple different plans. The link's always in the bio below. One, it supports me. Two, you get food. Uh, so I bought my first 16 meals and we munched on those a little bit. Uh, the chicken Alfredo and the chicken barbecue pizza are two of my favorites to start. Uh, and it's just something to kind of um, keep me on track through the day. So I know I still eat Chipotle and Chick-fil-A all the time. But So I'll do a pre-workout burrito. I know that's like 100 grams of carbs and almost 80 grams of protein and then I it's almost it, uh, it's not but I almost supplement with these meals in between uh, because they're easily balanced with protein fat and carbs they're kind of moderate to high carb um, moderate to high protein and lower fat meals so I can eat a couple of those a day and I know I kind of hit my daily requirements again I'm not tracking I've tracked my food for I don't know five years so right now I'm not tracking and I'm staying around 200 to 2 200 to 5 pounds body weight. Uh, I do have that deadlift competition three weeks out uh, and I'll cut weight for that, just three pounds. I'll just stop uh, eating a little bit of carbs and water, <clears throat> load a little bit into that week. And then we're going mega shred. Should we announce it? We're going mega shred mode. I'm trying to get the leanest I've ever been in my life after that. So um, probably pushing powerlifting at the side a little bit. We'll be doing some compound movements still, but less squat bench dead, specifically with the barbell, and we'll see where we can get. Uh, but I want to talk about my current diet and a diet for you guys that you can kind of emulate um, to not only help performance, but also help you lose weight. So we all know the basis of losing weight is a calorie deficit. Um, we'll use nice round numbers, but these are all examples. Uh, but so say I'm 220 pounds and to stay at 220 pounds, I need to eat 3000 calories. Uh, you start to eat a little bit less than that. You'll lose weight. You start to eat a little bit more of that a calorie surplus. You'll gain weight. <clears throat> but within that, there's multiple ways of going about that. You know, keto, this, or paleo, this, all of those are fine lifestyles or choices within your nutrition, but whether you have a calorie deficit, maintenance, or calorie surplus will determine if you lose, gain, or uh, maintain your weight. So for me, I'm in a very slight calorie deficit, um, but mentally, for my adherence, for me to stay on track weekly, um, and also to feel a little bit better mentally and physically in my training, I do some form of carb cy cycling. So I have kind of a lower carb day, medium carb day, and a higher carb day. Again, for me, I go by feel because I've tracked for so long, but for you, if you'd like, you can actually write down numbers and track your food exactly and hit it on point, which I do suggest because you start to learn the mi macro and micronutrient uh, densities in every type of food that you eat. So what I do is um, my heaviest training day right now is Tuesday and Saturday. Um, the other days are upper body fluff and puff or a rest day. So basically, if I'm doing kind of a fluff and puff day, upper body, I'm doing some dumbbell work, some shoulders, arms, back, just trying to feel good in the gym, I'll do that medium carb day. For me, it might be 250 carbs right now or so. Um, the higher carb days, because I train in the morning on Saturdays, my higher carb day is Friday to get those glycogen um, stores filled up and to feel a little bit better um, because I don't eat Saturday morning. I'll eat maybe 300, 400 carbs that day. Um, and then Tuesday in the afternoon is when we do our heavier deadlift day as well. And I'll eat again, 300, 350, 400 carbs. And then a total rest day for me, again, for the mental um, feeling that I am not working so hard uh, physically that I wanna eat lesser calories. And for the adherence, for me, if I eat the same thing every day, I just tend to not stick to it. But if I have these rotations like, oh, today's the low carb day, don't worry, tomorrow's the higher carb day. It's kind of like a mental game for me. Um, Monday. Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, uh, I'll tend to eat around 200 carbs a day. Protein is pretty static at uh, my body weight, which is around 200 grams per day, uh, and that'll vary depending on whether you're bulking or cutting. I know I'm rambling, but we'll figure it out. So what do we do now? I don't know what to do with my hands. 